Hello, welcome to my channel, Cooking with Paula Darlene. I'm Paula. If you're new here, welcome. I'd like to share my videos of my cooking and I hope I'm inspiring y'all to cook. Uh, remember to subscribe and like. Alright, so um, today I wanted to kind of do like a homemade pot pie type thing, a little bit different. As you can see, I have the sausage and potatoes and the carrots and everything out. So um, I've already started cooking um, the sausage and then I went ahead and I um, had already pre-diced the carrots and the potatoes and I started boiling those. As you can see, um, I've started making a pie shell and I did use the croissant rolls. I used about two of those, but I didn't use all of it. Um, I wanted to just make sure I had the bottom. Uh, covered and then I was just going to loop the ends over so it was kind of like a crisscross. Here I've started adding my filling and I did cooked sausage, I did cream and mushroom soup, some diced onions and um, I just added my own seasonings and garlic. I used chopped garlic. Um, I did use about half a cup of cream cheese. Can't go without it. And um, I just added my own seasonings. Just kind of make it to what you prefer. It's uh, your taste. So once all my vegetables were done, and you can see I added corn to it, give it a little bit of color. Uh, I just mixed it all in the bowl together. Um, I didn't really add any other liquids to this. I just added the vegetables to the remaining of that. And that was my filling. And then as you can see, I went ahead and put it inside the pie crust and as you can see on the edges um, I left the edges open like that because I'm going to fold them in so I basically just made sure the sides were up and then I just made sure that the filling was covered the bottom and I just kind of smoothed it out to where it was even as you can tell Now once I was done, I went ahead and like I said, I was going to fold over the ends and I just kind of did it like a crisscross type thing. The camera's not really showing it really well, but I went ahead and folded all the corners in and I just made everything focal, focal point to the center and um, yeah. Once I got done uh, putting the top on, I went ahead and put it in the oven for about 350. I wanted to make sure I didn't burn it. I put a cookie sheet underneath it, and this is a spring pan. And then um, I was able to, once I edged the sides with my butter knife, I was able to take the spring pan off of the uh, around the edges, and I was able to cut it like a pie. I will have to tell you that uh, when I was cutting it, um, I didn't want to show you my mess that I made. Um, it, it held really well, but I will tell you it was messy. I probably could have used bowls instead of plates. Um, it's just, hence it's a filling and um, as you can see it was, it was sturdy but it still had a lot of loose content so um, it wasn't as pretty as I wanted it to be. And this is great if you're not looking for a lot of breading on top of the type of pot pie type thing I have here with croissants. Um, but it did really well. It had a lot of good flavor. Um, I will say that next time I'll probably just leave the, the spring pan together on it um, and do it just like a casserole uh, instead of like a pie. I wanted to see how well it held up. But it did really well. My husband liked it and the sausage was different. We were looking for something different. We got tired of red meat and uh, turkey, so uh, we used the Italian sausage, which was great. And it added a lot of flavor because it already had a lot of seasoning already in the 
and the Italian sausage, and it was mild. And if my husband, he liked to heat it up with a little um, hot sauce. So, I mean, everybody to their own. And it turned out really good. For this dish, I made baked chicken legs, mac and cheese, and I did steamed green beans. I found this at my local Pruitt's and I just wanted something different and I'm um, just kind of like a shake and bake and it says that you can do like chicken and all kinds of fish and pork and all that on there so um, I went ahead and did chicken as you can see and I remember mom used to do something similar like this she used to do a like a shake and bake and she used to put it in like a little brown bag and shake it up in the bag and then she used to fry it or bake it I'm gonna bake it because I, I can't do all the grease so I'm just going to bake it at 400 for about 30, 30 minutes and it really thawed out. I rinsed it and stuff like that. And I just did one coat. Alright y'all, thank you for watching. Uh, you can see I've got some prep bowls in the back and prepping for my husband's lunch too. So it all kind of worked out real well with this dish. See y'all soon.